says. Once you get into him, he'll direct your steps. You'll see. So uh, I started hearing little by little through these two people, Frank and Victor, about family. And it attracted me because I was getting tired of this lifestyle I was le leading. Lowrider and disco and dancing and girls and all that kind of stuff. And he talked about family. I come from a divorced home, so it attracted me. Whoa, a man and woman can actually make it in a home with kids and all that? And you know, um, I started hearing about this guy named Nicky Cruz, an evangelist, that's preaching all over the world. And they had flyers. This guy come into the Montebello Health Spa and say, hey, this guy's in town. And they told him, no, no, we don't need that. But I said, hey, let me have one of those. And it attracted me, like, wow. You know why? Because I've been reading about this guy. Someone gave me a book and I was reading. I was getting interested in the book. It's called The Cross and the Switchblade. The Nikki Cruz story. I was saying, wow, this guy's been that crazy and now he serves God around the world? It interested me. So I wanted to go hear him. You know, I went to the Montebello High School that night and I went to hear him and I was way in the back and then they said, come if you want to receive Christ. And I started getting up and something told me, no, they'll make fun of you. You'll be a fool, a sissy. Man, you'll be soft if you go up there. Don't go up there. And I felt kind of weird. I just sat down. I said, no, I don't want to go up there because everybody's going to look at me. Forget about who looks at you. God is looking at you. He's saying, come. He's saying, come to me. When you do that, you're going to realize that he says in Hebrews 11, 6, without faith, it is impossible to please him. There's a lot of times that we have to just step out and he'll be there for us. And that's, I didn't do it that night. I said, forget it. So you know what? I was talking to these two guys all the time that they attracted me. Then little by little, they said, Luis, you have a tour in the lobby. And it's like, I said, I don't want to give a tour. I want to go talk to those two guys there on the floor. They attracted me about family and church. Well, you know, I picked up the car of that guy, Frank, in the back. And I looked at it and I said, oh, realtor, I'll keep it with me. You know, one of those nights when I was getting high, I was closing the gym up. I was rolling around, you know, smoking PCP and all that kind of stuff. My mom was supposed to pick me up that night. Some guys brought some more weed, I thought, and it was more PCP, and we were smoking, and it got me so wasted. My car was at the house, so my mom picked me up. When my mom picked me up, she goes, uh, are you ready? And I go, yeah, let me drive. And then something, and then she said, what, what's wrong with you? Mothers always know, okay? You can't fool your mom or your dad. Mothers always know, what's wrong with your eyes? How come there's a red? Why, you got, why are you so hungry all of a sudden? Mothers know, I couldn't fool my mom. You know that she said, let me drive. I said, no, I'll drive. But something again told me, Luis, let her drive. If not, you're going to crash this car. All right, go ahead, drive. You know, I went home that night, and I couldn't sleep. 11, 12 at night, I was roaming around. I couldn't sleep. I go into my kitchen window, and I open the window, and I look outside, and I start seeing things like, help, help, the world's coming to an end. I started looking at all this. I don't know what's going on. I seen hundreds and thousands of people walking down the street going, help, help, the world's coming. And I closed the window. And all of a sudden, I felt this urge to be loved. I said, I want, I want some love. So I went to who, who's supposed to love me, my mom. So I go into the bedroom. I say, Mommy, I love you. Oh, okay, mijo. Yeah, I'll go to sleep. Go to sleep. Yeah, but Mommy, I love you. I wanted to be hugged and just help. And she couldn't do that for me. I went outside in the, in the patio. And I looked outside. And there was a black crow there. And it said, Err, Err. I started thinking of Vincent Price movies or something or scary movies that I've seen. Like, Whoa, this is weird. I go inside and I, man, I want some love. I wanted to be hugged, to be loved by someone. Nobody could do that for me. Then all of a sudden, this thing came all over me. It went, and I go, and it says, in your dresser, there is a card you took from the back of the gym. Call that man, Frank. And I, like a zombie, I went to the dresser, went to my phone, and I was sitting at my phone, like three in the morning, I used to run with a German Shepherd all the time. You know, he used to run with me. He was sitting next to me. So he was, I was petting him. Big German Shepherd. I used to love to run and exercise. Put headphones on with music. Ride my bike. I was there. I loved him to exercise, but always getting high, too. And I had my German Shepherd next to me when I called. His daughter, I learned later, answered. I said, yes, can I help you? Yes, there's a guy named Frank there. He goes, yes, yes. Who is this? I go, Luis, the instructor at Jack Lane's. Okay, just a minute, please. So he went and got him. Yes, Luis. I go, look, Frank. I don't know what it is, but... You know, I'm sorry I call you three, but you know what? I want what you got. I don't, I don't know what you got. I mean, I'm Catholic. I, I, you tell me about church and everything. I'm Catholic. I know how to do the sign of the cross. You know what I'm saying? I've done my, my, my catechism and First Holy Communion, all that kind of stuff. But I want what you got. Uh, you talk about family. 
You talk about uh, mom, dad, kids, going swimming at the pool, go to church in the morning, go to church in the evening, go to a restaurant. You know, I want that. I don't have that kind of peace. So I want what you got, all the things. And he goes, it's Jesus. He's calling you, Luis. You need to give your life to God. Hold on a minute, let me get my Bible. And I'm waiting. He comes back. He goes, and he explains some things from the Bible to me. He says, Luis, after he talks to me, he goes, repeat after me. It's a sinner's prayer. And we repeat the sinner's prayer that I'm a sinner, that I repent, I turn back from all the stuff I've done. I, I, I turn back to God. And I receive Jesus into my life on the kitchen phone at 3 in the morning. Ain't that something? I received him. You know, at that time, that German shepherd I had there, it was trippy, but foam started coming out of his mouth when I was repeating that prayer. He put fear in me. And the man said, and the man said, Luis, it's okay. He's trying to, the devil was trying to put fear into you. It's okay. Just continue accepting Christ. You know, I just accepted Christ. As soon as I accepted Christ, the foams disappeared and everything. There was no more foam in there. You know, that day when I woke up after that, you know, I realized that it was something different going on in my life. I was, I had peace, quiet. There was a party that night. And it, it was the first time that I drank something, just orange juice and ice, and looked at everybody, phony and backbiting and gossiping. And I said, wow, that's how they act when they're not loaded. Or when they're loaded, I mean. And here I am, not loaded. Well, you know what? I learned a lot of things. I've learned a lot of things. But I had to go to church to learn a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? I had to go to a church. And, you know, I learned something. That Jesus is my Lord. That He knows how to help people. And I've had to learn that through church. I've learned that through various ministries I've been involved with. I've learned that um, at this church I went to in El Monte called Valley Community Church under uh, uh, William Bradford. I learned a lot of things in that church as an elder, as a street minister. You know that I had to go to Victory Outreach for one year to learn evangelism, and I learned. Then I went back to the church at Valley Community and, and worked in a street ministry there. Do you know that from there I, uh, the Lord took me with inner city youth ministries with uh, Reverend Jojo Sanchez? And travel around cross country, New York, Miami, different places, doing ghetto crusades, bringing entertainers, musicians that are Christians. I, God has shown me so much in my experience with Him because I was willing to give my life to Him. Now He's using it, just like Nikki Cruz, to go help someone else. I'm helping you today by telling you this. If you choose to believe in God, the truth, He is the truth. He, it will make you free. You know that. Now, from there, I've gone to. Uh, uh, the Fred Jordan missions. I worked under uh, Mrs. Uh, Jordan, uh, Mrs. Jordan for three years, and from there God moved me, and I'm presently at Pillars of Faith Christian Center, working under a man of God called Glenn Curry. It is a blessing to me. God has taken me, because I've been willing to learn through all these men and women of God, so I can learn and draw from their anointing, so I can be that man of God that He's called me to be. You see, I've learned a lot of things. And what I'm sharing with you right now is that you can do the same thing for God. You can learn a lot of these things. Do you know that in Psalm 18, 16, and 17, it says, He reached down from on high and took hold of me. Do you know that He can take hold of you right now from on high? You're not too far down. He can reach you. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my enemy. You know that you have many enemies, just like I had many enemies. Enemies of drugs, alcohol, sex, all that kind of stuff. Well, you know that? He drew me out of all that. He's drawn you. And uh, I've been involved with the Jack O'Lanes European Health Pass. I've done the nutrition centers there. I've had a great time. I've, I've had the desires of my heart. You know, I now act for the church. I play percussion congas, you know, the congas for the church. I exercise. I teach the kids. I work with people. I have a great time with the Lord. I have peace in my life. I own a home, you know. Before, I could never think I could do that. I thought being in an apartment would be with my mom all the time. I own a home, and that's something that, it's, it's not the material. It's just that I have accomplished some things in life. Do you know that you can accomplish? You know that I'm in a job that I enjoy? Do you know that you can find a job that you enjoy? Jesus is Lord. You need to get me of what I've done and the rebellious oh, being that I have uh, shown you to be. Forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart, Jesus, right now. Come into my heart like that man, Luis. I want to do what he's doing. Use me in Jesus' name. 
use me. You can say that right now. Say it. Wherever you're at, say it. He loves you. He cares for you. His name is Jesus Christ. What I say through this camera right here is truth. It has changed me. And I believe it, it will change you. Step out. Walk by faith. Be a faith man. Don't get into all this religious talk, religious walk, religious dress. Live for God day by day. Be a man of God.